Well, we came up with a few ideas so in terms of dialogues that we could have between um, uh, workers and environmental justice community leaders that, you know, talking about this whole question about the economy and what we, what kind of economy do we want and creating a new vision for an economy and something that we can document like and create it like a short film or video um, that we can share with folks. But the other project we talked about was actually build something, whether it could be like a solar project, whether it could be housing, that we actually co-create a project together that um, that starts with workers that are you know, basically um, the most marginalized and, and oppressed. And, um, and so, yeah, Well, because you talked about the new economy mm -hmm. and, and what does that look like, and I think that's where we actually saw a lot of overlap this notion of, of reinvestment. So taking money out of fossil fuels and really dedicating them to sustainable sources and, and seeing how workers can play a role in that. You know, especially in the construction industry, if we talk about reinvesting mm -hmm. in both green energy, but also in the workforce, you know, there's some really creative things that could come out of there. You know, taking money out and getting a developer to fund a green energy project where work it's a worker-owned cooperative and you know everyone gets paid a living wage and has has these basic protections and so it's a community-based project that workers are coming in and then the benefits the energy the greenness that's created from that is coming back into the into the community yeah. Yeah. that's perfect i mean because it brings together the vision of both the work of both organizations and what we're trying to do and again, it brings it back to the whole question of the economy and the kind of economy we want to create. Yeah. A successful model is about as strong a message you can get, so yeah. that's what we like to do. <laughs>